Hi everyone. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the summer slim down challenge. If you're here, just say hi over on the right hand column and let me know you're here. And uh, so I can see who all is attending today. It's a little chilly day in Ohio. It's a little bit chilly out. Okay, well, we are going to get started here with getting the sugar out. I know a lot of us have trouble with that, just trying to get out the sugar and we get, we have all these cravings where, you know, it's Friday night, it's Saturday, we're craving pizza, we're craving sugar, um, you know, maybe somebody offered you a beer last night or today i don't know if you're having a cookout it's kind of a little bit chilly here but i don't know where everyone is but uh we are going to talk about sugar cravings because really how, how that all occurs is you begin craving sugar i don't know what's going on with my camera i can't hang on a second you guys this is a little okay wait Let's see if I can get it to do better. All right, that's so much better. Oh my gosh. All right. So anyway, getting to the whole thing about sugar cravings. Basically, uh, a lot of times they strike when you're tired. And uh, so one of the reasons you're tired, number one, is because you didn't get enough sleep the before. So number one, you need to get more sleep. You need to try to get more sleep. Uh, and that's a whole nother webinar. I have a whole lot about sleep, but treat, please try to make, get seven hours of sleep. Because if you're not getting seven hours of sleep, you're generally, according to studies, going to pack on about a good 50 pounds over time. So, and, and they did that with quite a few, I think with 7,000 middle aged women, they did a test and if you were getting six hours or less of sleep, you packed on 15 more pounds than the people that were being one more hour. So maybe you don't need to get up that early. Maybe just an hour of sleep. It's gonna you're gonna be a whole lot less stressed in the day because you know also stress spikes your cortisol levels. So and that's what makes you hold the belly fat, right? So sleep, number one. And then the other thing is, if you're drinking too much caffeine in the morning, a lot of you probably don't know that caffeine spikes your blood sugar the same as sugar does. So when you're drinking coffee and you're drinking, you know, I don't know, I, I try to get organic in. But I was a big fan of Starbucks. My star crack, my husband called it. I was drinking like high chem. I was drinking like a ton of coffee. I was a two-fisted coffee drinker. And um, <laughs> I had to stop that. It really helped me to lose weight and trim down belly fat once I cut that back and started drinking. I drink isogenics or organic coffee. Um, because it's non-acidic. Okay. So there's no other coffees I know of for sure out there that are non-acidic. And it also has green tea, which really boosts your metabolism. And it also has coconut oil. So it's a pretty awesome coffee. I could drink it without anything in it. And I know I'm not getting pesticides because a lot of the, the uh, coffees out there that you're drinking, if they don't say they're organic, um, you're getting pesticides in them that may be banned in the U S because the coffee is coming from other countries. So, you know, your toxins, you know, if you feel in belly bloat, that's all toxins that could be from your coffee. So that spikes your blood sugar. So what happens after your blood sugar spikes? It crashes. What happens when it crashes? crashes you want sugar 
You want more coffee. You want something to give you some energy because you have none. So you're, you're getting this, this raise and then this drop. And also just like, uh, I don't know if you've ever uh, noticed your kids when they're, when they've had too much candy and they like get all wound up. Right. And then they crash and burn and they get cranky. We're adults. It happens to us just like we're kids. So, you know, we're no different. So if you want to see how sugar reacts in the body, just, you know, watch your kids. Um, and if you don't have any at home, well, just pay attention when you're eating too much sugar. How do you feel afterwards? Do you feel kind of, I mean, crappy, right? It doesn't really make, it's only good going in, right? Like Jacqueline would say, a life, you know, once on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. <laughs> And if you don't know who Jack Lane is, he is like the godfather of fitness. He's amazing. You have to go listen to my podcast on iTunes on the Sisterhood of Sweat. He literally swam from Alcatraz to the mainland at 60 with a thousand pound boat and his arms and hands chained behind his back to prove what? age is just a number you guys it's never too late to get fit because kim on here she knows that because she came to me and she had her knees were bad and she had trouble she couldn't quite do boot camp so we designed a plan for her she could do right at home and then she just followed the nutrition that you guys are going to get on the challenge if you sign up so she followed the nutrition and literally i'm telling you guys she had the best belly in my studio. I mean, amazing abs. And got down to 12% body fat, and she's 57 years old. So I just, I want you to realize it is your nutrition that is killing you. If you're, if you're eating, you know, croissants, and you're eating bagels, and you're eating, you know, too much wheat bread, it's, all, you know, just wheat bread is like three tablespoons of sugar in your bloodstream. Three tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so you got to get the sugar out because it's what makes you store body fat. So now I'm, I'm going to actually go to the screen a little bit. So I'm going to disappear, but you'll still hear me talking. So let me see. Sometimes this thing is a little crazy. Um all right, here we go. Okay, so basically, when we're having sugar cravings, they come to us and we usually grab what is whatever's handy, whatever's convenient, because what, number one, we're usually not prepared and we didn't plan. Well, you need to plan. You need to plan for that moment because you're going to have it. Just bank on it. You're going to have that moment. So sugar cravings are actually the body's cry for more energy. So you've got to think, well, how can I get more energy then, you know, rather than just from sugar, or it's also the body's cry. Uh, when your body is overly stressed, it's, it's just sending sing signals to the brain. It's trying to help you. It's trying to help you out so that you can literally relieve yourself of that stress you know, have you ever noticed when you're having a stressful time, you're, you're reaching for chocolate or you're reaching for chips, maybe you're working something on your computer and you start snacking. So basically what most people don't realize is there is a healthy alternative to sugar. So you just have to plan. So that's the good news. So, you know, I have a picture of watermelon here, but there are several alternatives to sugar, to eating, you know, uh, Sour Patch Kids, Milk Duds. I don't know. Maybe you don't eat candy. Maybe salt is your crack. And also, uh, you know, that's a whole nother workshop. But I'll just tell you right now, if you're craving salt, it's because your adrenals are low. Generally, that means that you're not getting enough rest. You're burning the candle at both ends and you're overly stressed. So you got to think about getting the stress out and that's a whole nother <laughs> workshop. All right. So sugar crack. 
sugar crack, get the sugar crack, get the crack out of your house. That is the number one way. You guys, do you know what the number one way is to be successful on your diet, on your plan? Do you know where that starts? It starts at the grocery store. When you go to the grocery store, don't buy the stuff that you shouldn't be eating. Don't put the crack in your house. Also, do a clean out. Get rid of stuff. You got to find what, what, what's got sugar in it. Sugar is eight times more effective than crack cocaine, according to Dr. Mark, Mark Hyman. So, uh, and, and a lot of research out there. So eight times more addictive than crack. Um, well, you know, crack addicts need to get the crack away from them because they just can't stay off the crack. Okay. So, um, packaged and processed food enters your bloodstream so quickly. It just, it's, it's immediately going to give you an insulin spike or sugar surge. And that creates more cravings, AKA crash and burn, crash and burn. Excess sugar causes more fat storage and our body only needs so much glucose because the rest will just store as fat toxins and excess fat create muffin top phenomenon. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Do you ever feel like, Oh, my belly's hanging over these pants. You know, I've got muffin top. I don't want anybody to see that. I want to cover it up. I want to hide that. Well, that's what happens. It's, it's the excess sugar. So you need to eat a little more fat in your diet also. Good fat takes out bad fat, and it also destroys some of the cravings that you're having. So good fat takes out bad fat. So I think I shall write that on the screen so we can all remember it. Oh, it's frozen because I'm sharing it. <laughs> All right. Well, just remember it. Avocados, nuts, uh, you know, salmon, all that stuff sates your brain so you don't <clears throat> crave so much. It really helps with hormones, too, to balance your hormones. If you're having any kind of hormone issues, up the fat, down the sugar. Okay, we're going into our next page here. Did you like that nice chocolate cake slide? <laughs> Okay. Read your labels. You want to read your labels. You need to compare your sugar gram serving size to the number of calories. A lot of times it's going to be really deceptive. It might say, well, it could say low fat. So you think you're getting low fat. Like a standard would be my husband and I used to really love Intamin's low fat baked goods. We thought we were doing something great for ourselves or we would have pasta, low fat pasta. You know, we went through this whole low fat craze. Well, when you're eating that low fat, you're literally eating the high sugar. So you're, it's, it may be low calories, but it's very deceptive. There's a lot of deceptive marketing out there and the things that you want to look for on your labels, I've, I've written them all down so you can go back and watch this and probably freeze the screen. Um, but they act like sugar in your body, caffeine, artificial sweeteners, corn syrup, dextrose, sugar fructose, maltose, barley malt, beet sugar, brown sugar, buttered syrup, cane juice uh, or cane syrup, caramel, carob syrup, corn syrup solids, date sugar, dextrin. Uh, distaste. <laughs> I know that's not how you say it. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, all these concentrates, glucose, glucose solids. Another one would be sucralose. I don't have that on here, but that's a fake sugar. That is, a, you know, it's an artificial sweetener. You really want to look out for that one. Um, it can uh, cause your thymus gland to enlarge your kidneys, liver, um, so it's in a lot of things. So if you're having belly bloat and you're having sucralose, that's, that's probably the reason. Um, and it's in your, I hate, I'm not going to name a name brand, but just look in your little artificial sweetener packets that you get when you're getting Starbucks. Um, and, and I'm not talking about Starbucks. I'm just talking about the sugar packet that Starbucks or any other restaurant has. Um, you're going to look at that 
we did a, a challenge to get that out where people were using these artificial sweeteners and you would not believe the difference in their freaking abs. You guys, you would not believe the freaking difference. All right. So, you know, you guys can read all the rest of this, you know, like Zorbitol, turbinado sugar, which you think is healthy. Uh, there's a lot of things. Your body cannot recognize the difference. Your body does not know the difference uh, between fake sugar and real sugar. You're still going to get that insulin spike. The only difference is, is when you start getting the fruit and things like that, it's got a lot more fiber in it. It's going to slow down the absorption. That's why fruit is your turn to food if you're having a sugar craving. Maybe not a high, you know, insulin level fruit, but like an, you know, Granny Smith apple or just an apple. Apple's got plenty of fiber. You know, um, what grows in the ground, you know, and grows on the tree and flies in the air. That's what you want to you want to eat. You want to stay away from the center center aisles of the grocery store and shop the outer aisles where everything is fresh. Sugar isn't everything. They put sugar in everything. You got to look at your breads, your trail mix, your salad. I had a gal going to a fast food restaurant and uh, thought she was eating healthy. And she's showing me her journals. And pretty soon after we're talking a bit, you know, she's like, I don't know why I'm having all these sugar cravings. I'm like, well, let me look at your journal because she was doing great. And all of a sudden she's getting these cravings. Well, in her salad was 38 grams of sugar. You think you're doing healthy. You got to really read your labels. So uh, nut butters have sugar, spaghetti sauce, coffee. Do you think it's black coffee? They put some kind of sugary syrup in it to keep it from being so bitter. Also, your sauces, your spices, your supplements and cereal. Um, a frappuccino has almost the amount of sugar of three donuts. So your frou-frou coffees, whoa, lots of coffee. I know we've had this, this drink recently, the, um, oh gosh, what the hell is it? The unicorn smoothie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I have a healthy alternative on the challenge. So we'll have our pretty smoothie, but it's going to be made with good stuff. Okay. Not red food coloring, green food coloring and all of that stuff. All right. Hopefully your kids are not drinking the unicorn. They're going to be zipping around. Maybe you'll get your workout that way. Um, so anyway, some cereals are deceptive. You think you're getting nutrition because it says multi-grain on the box, right? So that's better, right? But really, it's just so sugar laden. It's just like cracking a box. So stay away from cracking a box. Um, common sugar, sugar sources, 33% the soda pop, um, sugar and candy, fruit drinks, dairy desserts, and other grains. No, we, we need to put this little heart here. It needs to say healthy food forever. Here, I'm getting to the nitty gritty, you guys. Here are six ways to create cravings. And before that, I just want you to realize, I know you think you need that. You feel like you want that. You don't want to deny yourself and all of that. But you know what? Eating healthy can be amazing. There's nothing better than the way you feel and you look after, I mean, all my clients that did the cleanse and that just eat healthy, they know there's nothing better than feeling good, looking good, and not waking up with a food hangover. So you don't need, according to Anne, uh, Dr. Anne Louise Gittleman, the New York Times bestselling author and my mentor, you don't need to have more than two teaspoons of sugar in your bloodstream at any one time. So we are way freaking overeating sugar. So here are some ways to help you with sugar cravings. And the first two I do like nonstop. You want to take your chromium daily. Okay. You want to take chromium. Uh, just take it according to the bottle. I usually just take, uh, well, I take one in the morning and one at night. Most of us are deficient in that. And you can just get that anywhere. Um, I have, you know, a special kind that I can put uh, in the email to you guys. 
or on your Facebook page later so that you can see what I use. And you need to take, if you're having a sugar craving and it's overwhelming, if you just take 500 millimeans, uh, milligrams of L-glutamine, within 10 minutes, your craving will likely disappear. Um, and also BCAs, I, I uh, carry some for mycogenics, but you can find them out there on the market. Sweetened with stevia, that's branched chain aminos. Uh, that helps your body. So if, if when you're in on the challenge and you're on a low carb day, if you'll just drink your BCAs, that will help you with your sugar cravings. Uh, a lot of times the branch chain aminos will also have some glutamine in them and uh, that will help you. The glutamine is like my lucky charm. It really helps the body. If you are diabetic, you may not want to do glutamine. So that would, I would caution you on that. And uh, the author of The Diet Cure uh, has written about chromium and glutamine. So she has a lot of sugar um, busters in her book. And also Anne Louise has Get the Sugar Out. That's a book of hers. So you want to find a healthier replacement. Um, your body is a signal to you that either you're tired or you're screaming for nutrients. And if you're eating bagels, you're eating cheese puffs, you're eating, you know, all these empty foods, your body is crying out for what it needs because it is not getting it in the nutrients. It is not, it's not getting it. So you need to feed yourself whole foods. And let me tell you, you're not going to overeat whole foods. When's the last time you steamed broccoli and said, oh, my gosh, I need to eat another whole bag? Well, I do love my broccoli because I spice it up and put some olive oil and some spice. I might grill it. But, you know, I'm just saying you're usually not going to overeat the vegetables. And those are carbohydrates, too. Most people don't recognize that. So eat fresh fruit and vegetables. They are slower to be absorbed than processed food because the natural fiber slows down the absorption. Also, carbs are not the enemy. You need them. If you're not eating carbohydrates, your adrenals are going to suffer. And then you're going to want what? Sugar. Make sure you eat the carbs. Eat the carbs. Um, have your sweet potato. Yum. Have your, you know, uh, butternut squash. Uh, your your quinoa, your brown rice, you know, there's plenty of uh, uh, Ezekiel bread, plenty of good complex carbohydrates. A piece of fruit, you know, is not a complex carbohydrate, but it still has a slow absorption. And also take B complex that will help your body relieve stress. Um, so and your hormones can mess with you too. So that's a whole nother conversation, which we will go over a lot on this challenge because I have a lot of women having hormone issues. So I'm going to give you some simple, simple solutions to help with that. And I'm so glad I got mine. Uh, I was out of something that helps me not have hot flashes. I took it last night. No hot flash. Before that, oh my goodness, I felt like someone stuck me in a freaking oven. All right, so now we're going to the next slide. Here are the Sisterhood of Sweat Approved Sweeteners. You like our little stevia guy? <laughs> okay, so stevia, make sure it's not Truvia. Truvia has sugar in it. Look at your labels, look at your labels. Um, it's even in soup. Coconut sugar, that's amazing. It is amazing. I use it in so many desserts. I use stevia and coconut sugar. Monk fruit you can use. Um, I've used it. I, I think it's good. Some people love it. It's not my favorite. Honey and agave in a moderation. Honey and agave. I just, I do believe in all natural things. Just don't overdo it. You know, everything in moderation. Okay. So, here, um, we're going to get into the nitty gritty. So I'm coming back on so you can see me. Hey, everybody. So do you guys have any questions or do you want to come up on the screen with any questions that you have? Does anybody um, have any questions about, you know, things to replace, you know, to have instead of their pizza? I make a holistic pizza 
it is off the hook. And you guys are going to get this recipe and the challenge that's coming up, the sum, summer slum down. And we are going to start that. We're going to kick that off with a detox. So we are going to get out the crappy sugar and we're going to use natural sugars for the first week. So we're going to have fruit, plenty of fruit, tons of fruit, fresh fruit, great vegetables. And we're going to have a spaghetti that is not made with noodles, but it's a detoxer. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> A de I got a frog in my throat. We have a detox spaghetti. We're going to have a minus, you know, negative calorie soup, um, which is delicious. I love it. I'm going to actually make it on Sunday again. So good. My husband's having hip surgery, hip replacement. And oh, did you guys lose me? Hang on. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> what? Wait, let me just. How about now? Okay, great. All right. Thank you, guys. You can hear me right now. Okay. Um, well, I lost my train of thought there. I was like, I felt like I was on some commercial. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> so anyway, uh, back to the detox. Uh, we're going to have, I mean, it's going to be amazing. You guys are going to get to drink these awesome smoothies. I even have uh, a version of the unicorn smoothie, <laughs> um, but we made it with fresh fruit. So also, uh, uh, chocolate, peanut butter, banana one is my favorite. We have bloat busting smoothies, uh, you know, antioxidant, you know, loaded smoothies. It's just going to be amazing. So you can drink the smoothies and you're going to have the spaghetti. You're going to have the soup and we have a little bit of snacks um, because you may want that crunch because your brain actually, you need to chew so many times during the day or your brain tells you that you need to chew. And that's why you start craving crunchy things. So I think it's like, um, I forget the, the amount, the number. I might look that up and I'll put that in on the Facebook page because I think it's an interesting uh, fact. So what we're going to get with the summer slim down challenge is you're going to get printable workouts to take to the gym or to do at home. So you get PDFs, videos. So I just filmed, I'm so sore today. I did a whole day of filming yesterday after my full boot camp load. And it was so fun. Now I'm sore because um, I did them all in one day. So you guys are going to get all of these um, videos that you can do. Uh, and then, you know, if you don't want to do the video, just put your music on. This is what I do. Just put your music on and you have the PDF. Look up the workout exercises and then just do them, right? Um, so I want everyone that's on the challenge uh, to post pictures on Instagram. So we'll go over that. Uh, when you join, you'll get a whole tutorial just to motivate each other. This is a group of supportive people. We're going to crush this challenge and you're going to get results that you've never seen before. I'm going to go into some testimonials and some videos in a second so you can just see the results that everyone has gotten. So anyway, you're going to belong to a private Facebook page where you're going to get videos uh, of, you know, food prep eating plans because I led people through, um, they actually got a lot of bonus last time. They got, a, they got a lot longer than the six weeks, uh, that could happen again. Um, and they got great results. They basically started off with my baseline plan and then we went straight to, um, a detox. So we did three weeks of a baseline to kind of get them a base. So they learned discipline. Um, so it was a little more wide open. Then we went on a detox that got the sugar cravings gone, gone, gone. And then we went on a, a carb rotation and people did great. Oh my gosh. They did great with that. So you're going to get that kind of thing. You're going to get the hands-on that I do for all of my competitive clients. I have competition clients that are winning amazing shows. You're going to get all that for, you know, uh, 
um, all the nutrition that I do with my my personal training clients, my boot camp. So you're going to get this hands on and it's basically a little bit supercharged because we're in this group and I can see, you know, we can really get more work done. So because I'm, you know, I almost think sometimes you get more work done in a challenge. All right. So you can download the workouts or you can watch them on video. Um, you're getting positive support with like-minded women and you can all go on and complain. Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? A uh, big jump forward to jump back into a burpee. What was she thinking? Um, loads of motivation. And you're going to take the guesswork out of what to eat because I'm going to tell you exactly what to eat. Okay. Six weeks of simple, effective meal plans. Your meals are where it's at. If you haven't been getting results and you're not seeing what you want, it's what you're putting in your mouth because you're going to do that way more than you're ever going to work out. Okay. So, you know, how many times are you eating a day? How many times a year? Multiply that and multiply the times you're working out and you'll see it's a huge change. I'm not saying don't work out because you got to have both workouts cancel out a lot of sins. Okay. All right. So then we're going to get resistance training programs in case you would like to go to the gym. I will incorporate those too. Um, so weight training. So you're going to get that too, as well as my metabolism, metabolism boosting, uh, workouts like hit training that works your entire body like an athlete. So you're not wasting time. You know how people do in the gym. I worked in the gym for 25 years. A lot of times you got people just, you know, walking in this weight, talking, walking to this weight, uh, doing cardio, cardio, cardio queens. And the cardio queens wonder why they don't look the way they want to look. They're breaking down all their muscle and muscles where it's at, you guys, because it burns more body fat. It raises your metabolism and you can eat way more when you have muscle. Muscle burns 25 to 50 calories at rest when you're sitting, sleeping, you know, fat, five to 10 calories. Which would you rather have? You have to really think about that. All right. So. Um, you're going to have weekly live interaction. I'm going to come on. Uh, last time I came on quite frequently. This time probably will be at least once every week. On a Saturday, I'm going to come on and give you, we're going to connect. We're going to talk about the week, what we're doing that week, what we're doing the next week. It's going to be completely hands on. Then um, if you are local, you can buy food prep. I have food prep set, uh, set up for this. And you can totally buy food prep or do your own. There'll be food prep videos. If you live uh, further away, I can help you try to find a good food service. I'd be glad, happy to do that. Um, so six weeks of webinars. It says Sunday night. It's going to be Saturdays. Um, I think that's a better time for most people. And there'll be a replay. So if you miss it, it will no big deal. Um, you're going to get a lot of guidance as we kick off our smoothie detox and weekly challenge check-ins. I want a picture of you. It doesn't have to be naked. I don't want it to be naked. Please not naked. No thongs. <laughs> um, but I mean, you know, you can just wear like whatever, just so it's tight enough that I can see the change in your body. Preference is a swimsuit, but whatever you feel comfortable in. Okay. So, um, oh, you're also going to get food journals. Okay. So I want you to fill those out to the best of your ability online. Um, if you have trouble with a food journal, yes, you did. No, you didn't do it. And what you did off plan, but I do need that because that is your roadmap to success. You're 50% more successful when you're writing it down. Okay. That is like statistics research is proven even with goals. So if you got a goal, write it down. You're more likely to achieve it. This is going to build your confidence, your self-esteem. You're going to have accountability. I'm going to be up in your face. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to blow a whistle and say, you didn't do all those. Create momentum. 
This is what we're all about. We create momentum. To reach any goal, you've got to create momentum so that you can get where you want to go. All right. Okay, so let's go on a little bit. I think we're getting to the end of this. So no equipment is required. You're going to do at least three body weight workouts. You're going to get two functional cardio workouts, two days of strength training when you do the challenge. You're going to get on-plan recipes, how to meal prep Q&A, how to meal prep videos, simple snacks, and weekly on-plan meal prep that could be purchased through the service. Here are uh, some of the testimonials. Um, you can go back. You can read these. Oh, was I? I was doing the all, oh, you guys. I wasn't sharing the screen. You didn't see the screen, did you? I'll roll back through the screen here um, so that when you play this video back, you're able to see this. So we're going to share the screen again because I want you to see some of these um, testimonials. So let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, so this is a video I'm going to play. And, uh, oh, I don't know if it's going to. It did not let me play the video. It won't let me play the video. What? All right, that's okay, you guys. We will go back. Um, I will make sure to get you the link in the, in the notes so that you can see where you can you can see the amazing results that everyone got i mean this lady lost 100 pounds that you can just see right now um here we have one of our girls that just did a two-day cleanse on the last one and she you can see the results the visible results from just the two-day cleanse um we had an option last time to do two days or a week this time it's a week, <laughs> no options. Um, so you have the week cleanse right there. And I will put the link to the video because the video shows like a ton of people's results. I don't want you to miss those. So anyway, um, these are the testimonials. So you have quite a few people that really, really got great results last time. And you can scroll through those and read them a little bit later. But I had at least, uh, you know, most people didn't have a lot of weight to lose, but um, we had people getting like smashing results. Noticeable. In fact, some people are joining the challenge this time just because of, of what the results that others got. So the first 10 to sign up, for the summer slim down, will receive an SOS, which is Sisterhood of Sweat, tank top. And if you already have a Sisterhood of Sweat tank top, you can have another. Or I have some Chick Fit tanks that are pretty awesome in all colors. And you, you also get, it doesn't say that on there, a digital copy of the Sisterhood of Sweat and there's going to be a ton of bonuses. We're going to have a mindset guest. She's going to come on. She's going to help you with pushing past perfect because we all want to be perfect. We all end up falling off of a plan because we thought we screwed up, right? There's, there's no perfect, you know, if you do this plan, 70%, my husband was eating Grippos and chocolate and he lost 40 pounds. If you do this plan, 70%, you're going to get the results you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. So we'll have a mindset piece with my, my good friend that has written Push Past Perfect, Megan Antony. So I'm going to scroll through these really at the end. So I want to come back on so you guys can see me again. Okay, so 
What do you guys think? Do you have any questions about the challenge? Uh, do you want some more information? Anything that I didn't cover? Please, please, please respond in the sidebar and let me know. I am going to, before we hang up, I will put the uh, the link to the, the video so you can watch it. Well, actually, I don't need to. Just go to my YouTube my YouTube channel. It's on the YouTube channel. And it says Prog Progress Photos. So uh, the Chick Fit YouTube channel, or it might say Linda Mitchell. Just uh, Google it, and you'll find the Progress Photos because they're amazing. They're amazing. One of the girls doing the challenge uh, went from, she lost 70 pounds with me. And in her first challenge, she lost 30 pounds. So, you know, it's doable. I had, a, you know, I've had women, you know, 56 years old that, you know, can't work out that hard because they have injuries, you know, losing, losing weight and getting in the best shape of their lives. And it isn't just about losing weight. You know what? It's about feeling better. It's just about feeling better, looking better. And we're all, all about that, right? So I have a link where you can sign up for the challenge. And it is not expensive. I wanted to make this affordable so everyone could do it. So here we go. Let me find it. might have disappeared. I might have lied. <laughs> Hang on. Is not. Oh, there it is. You have to bear with me. Technology, I am learning it. I am learning it. I am 54 years old. I'm, I'm not doing half bad, but I, I have a lot to learn. Yes. That's why I'm so thankful to have a person helping me. Thank you so much, Sandy. <laughs> All right. So you have uh, the Linda Lou 7782 at ClickFunnels webinar registration. Registration. Go on there. Click that. Sign up. Make sure you do. I'm only taking so many. So um, make sure you do. So once that's full, you won't be able to sign up because I don't I want to be able to give the people that are on my full attention so make sure that you sign up I'm going to copy this link and put it in the chat so that you can get yourself all good and started so just to give you a rundown of some of the stuff we're going to do we're going to do this detox so, okay so that'll go seven days uh and then we're going to go into a new 10-day grind if you've ever done my 10-day grind before it's this is a different one so you're going to do a 10-day grind so anybody can do something for 10 days right 10 days is not bad and it's all a mind game right so you got to work with that. You got to work with what your mind can absorb and wrap its, you know, wrap, wrap your head around. So you're going to do that. And then uh, we're going to go into carb rotation, a little different carb rotation this time. Uh, carbs will be um, limited, not for the first week, but as we get into it. So I don't mean you're not going to have carbs. What I mean limited is it'll, your choices. Carbs won't be limited. Your choices will be limited. And we'll have, you know, like a high day, a medium day, a low day. And uh, you guys are going to smash this. This is going to be the, the time that you're like, okay, this stuff works. All right? It works. And let me find the link so I can copy from the, uh, the results so that you can see the video. Because that is very like convincing when you see the, re the results people have gotten from these challenges that I do. You know what? I can screen share. I bet that works. Let's try it. 
Let's try it. Okay, hang on. All right, here we go, guys. This client lost 70 pounds with me. And six pack abs, I'm telling you. Look at those abs. She is a rock star. This lady lost just from doing a cleanse. That was two weeks. Two weeks. She went and on to compete. Look at the difference in her body. I mean, she's beautiful. And her, she lost over a hundred pounds over time over the space of a year doing different challenges. Forty pounds. All the way up to competing. That was in four months. Look at her. Look how amazing. And this is my 57-year-old. Look at the difference in her abs, you guys. Isn't that awesome? This is the first time she wore a bikini. And she competed. Look at her. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? I mean, it's just, it just blows my mind. All right, so um, stop sharing. <laughs> I'm getting used to this. I'm figuring things out. Okay, so uh, I had a question. Somebody asked if drinking a lot of tab is going to affect her when she stops drinking it. Um, you mean like, will you have headaches? Well, I have a solution for that. It usually works. So I'm not going to, you know, guarantee 100% you won't have headaches, but I will say maybe not. A lot of people don't. I have a special detox tea that we're going to do. And generally you can get off of coffee with that. So I'm going to say maybe, you know, play it by ear. If you're the type to just go cold turkey, do that. But if 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 you want to get off the tab, because it really it really could be a game changer for you getting off the tab. I'm not gonna lie, um, just getting off. And I won't say tab is aim brand, but just getting off any diet soda it could be a game changer. Um, they're you know all have artificial sweeteners. So if you would do the detox tea, that should really help you. Um, I'm gonna have some drinks that you can drink instead. Um, so that, that ought to help that will have green tea in them. So we're not getting rid of caffeine completely. Um, so maybe that would help you too. Uh, I'm not against caffeine, so I'm just against too much of it. And I'm against like, uh, the pesticide laden drinks that we're drinking. Okay. If that makes sense. Um, you know, there's a lot of good research out there that it's coffee. So. I'm banking on that. I'm banking on that. You just don't want to overdo it because it could spike your cortisol, which should hold on to belly fat. And also with the with the um, the tab, I was just going to say to you, you could back it down some and start incorporating the healthy things and just see how it goes and play it by ear. That would be my suggestion because I, I can't see it having headaches and I rarely do, um, but there is a cleanse that I have tried that gives headaches, so I don't do it. I don't do it because I mean, you know, I have I'm just a busy lady, and I'm sure you guys are all busy. I have too much going on to be sitting around wasted from having a he headache, you know. Okay, so uh, let me see if I have anything. Let me see if anything else. Um, okay, here we go. I'm gonna put that link in the show notes. You can see that it's also on the YouTube channel if you want to go back and look at it. And now you also hear. Uh, and I also have on my website at www.chickfit.me because it's all about you. I have, uh, you know, before that you could look at. 
and uh, you know just you know, don't hesitate to shoot me an email if you had questions that you were afraid to ask on here. You know, shoot me an email at chickfit at chickfit.me. So, and uh, you can go on, you guys, like my podcast, go listen to those. I have a ton of really good ones coming down the pike. I was waiting to release them because somebody was wanting to put a commercial. Um, they wanted, I had a sponsor that wanted to put a commercial in them, but. Um, I'm kind of chomping at the bit because they're really, really going to be some good podcasts coming up. And that's Assist Sweat on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. And, uh, you know, you can connect with me anytime on Facebook at the Chick Fit Video or the Sisterhood of Sweat. Please, please, please go on and like it so we can support one another with our dreams, our goals, our visions. Because the Sisterhood of Sweat is all about building each other up, supporting each other. Uh, having each other's back, collaborating, you know, uh, building self-confidence, self-esteem, and just being this tribe of women that get each other, right? You know, we don't need to compete with each other. We are sisters. We are sisters. And now I'm going to give you the link for the sales page. I was looking for that. Hold on for a second. Let me find that really quick. Sandy, are you able to put that on there? Because what happened is I had it in my um, my slides, and oh no, I did. Did I not put it in there? No, I put webinar registration. I put the wrong link. Um, so let me see if I can find it really quick, you guys, for you. So um, ask your questions if you have any more while I'm looking for that, and. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you learned something and I am here to support you 100%. I want to see you guys reach your biggest dreams and just get the greatest result and build that the, the self-confidence and have the life and body you deserve. Typing in. This is where you really hope you're not screen sharing, right? <laughs> Typing in your password. Okay, let's see. Mm, not there. I'll try one more. I might have just put the wrong link down. Oh, thank you, Sandy. <laughs> thank you so much. Here is a link for you guys to sign up. And uh, it's the sign up link. So I might repaste that again in the notes okay no she said it thank you everyone for listening have a great saturday and i hope every everyone joins on the challenge i already have quite a few i have quite a few through the studio so make sure you get in before i close this out all right bye everyone Mwah.